I think for me, coming to design, I've always wanted to be in this world. And so wanting to get to New York, I really wanted to come here because there's just things everywhere. For me, that sort of always keeps me thinking, keeps me going. And so it's just a constant sort of passion that I have personally. When we first started working with YNR, David Sable, global CEO, came to us and he was really passionate about changing what they were doing and trying to really be open. And he really pushed the whole company to look at this differently and be open-minded and do something significant in this project. 50 years ago, it was all about big private offices in the Mad Men era. They needed to change the way they worked. They needed to be able to get people together, to be much more collaborative, to be fluid and be more nimble. And so we really looked at how could we plan it so that it was super flexible, that people could move around. And then we put a new stair in the middle of it so that people could really go up and down the staircase and not always have to take elevators. The original concept for the whole project was the romance of contradictions. So it was sort of about, you know, a company with a long history being new again, an old building that was being renovated, and now it's a new building. And so this whole idea of the, the contrast of those things. And so in this location, in this environment, it was all about Central Park being next door. So you can imagine you're sort of under the canopy of trees and sort of the sunlight um, coming through the leaves, or it could be the nighttime of the city. And so you get that interplay of dark and light. And it happens in a few locations, so it's sort of the link that ties the whole um, shared spaces together. So we came up with a way of making these unique stairs that have their own personality. Um, they are somewhat industrial with the black metal, and then we contrasted that with the beautiful reclaimed wood. And so then the stair itself was sort of seen as an object, a sculpture almost in this space. Now with laptops and Wi-Fi and iPhones or iPads, whatever it is, you can really work anywhere. And so that's that's really the whole approach to the to the design of the space is that you no longer have your private office. You may just have a, a bench or a much smaller environment, but you can really work anywhere you want and you can actually choose to work where you want. You have the millennials coming in, you have the baby boomers kind of going out and everybody in between, and everybody has a different relationship with technology or just how they work. And so I think you have to balance letting people work sometimes the way they used to work and then you can have all the other cool things and that way sort of everybody can end up where they feel most comfortable and so it's sort of like solving their issue uniquely for them every day because it's all about solving it in the right way for that person at that time.